Okay, everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and I decided to do my uh, anchor, old Anchor Bay uh, shelving unit here. Put all my old Anchor Bay DVDs in one section, you know, just to make it a lot easier to find certain films. Um, just a little shelf here. There are two that are not on this particular shelf. Up over there is the uh, Sleepaway Camp box set, and I had that on the box set areas. Just to make that easier to uh, find down there. And over here, down here, if you can't see it because it's like hard to see, it's the Dawn of the Dead box set. But I want to keep all the anchor bays, as you can see here, all the sailboat bank anchor bays, all in one section. So, without further ado, <laughs> it's good. I always wanted to do this the old anchor bays. So, I put together. That is what I end up stuff falling out. Alright, slow but surely. Put all the dry through in one section. Like we have Fade to Black and Hell Knight. Perfectly bought this for Fade to Black because it's still it's not out on Blu-ray at all. And it's very hard to find. I almost shit a brick when I saw this out in FYE. Like, yep, that's definitely for me to own. So Fade to black. Next we have the drive-ins. Yeah, my little homemade horse want to fall, so I gotta be very careful. And of course, sticky. Next drive-in, we have Initiation and Mo uh, Mountain Motel Massacre. Uh, again, these drive-ins are very hard to find. Um, I like to just try to find the drive-ins. There's a couple that are a little easier, but I know both of these have Blu-rays. I do have them on Motel, but I don't have the initiation. But someday, I'll pick up the initiation. Uh, the Pit and Hellgate driving. I have the Pit on Blu-ray. Uh, Hellgate, I think, is Arrow? I gotta take a look. So I know that has a single Blu-ray, but again, they have a little bit of features to them. They're on double discs, which I hate. I hate double discs. But, as you can see, if I'm talking about double disc, is one side is one movie, the other side is the other. But they all have these cool um, inserts. That's what's awesome about Anchor Bays. Uh, next to the drive-ins, we have uh, Possession and Shock. <laughs> this is my second copy of Possession, which you will see down in the other shelf. <laughs> so yeah, so Mario Bava Shock there. All in double feature. We have the old Abominable with the cool silver slip. Thanks MVD for putting it on Blu-ray. I love it. Still had to keep my DVD. Alien Apocalypse uh, sci-fi channel flick with good old Bruce Campbell. Yeah. I think this has the insert too. Yep. So it's got the insert. These are all on singles. So a lot of your double DVDs will have double-sided, but these don't. Had to get this one. This one is a UK release, Old Anchor Bay of Alligator and Alligator 2 The Mutation. Uh, one them both. As you can see, they're both on separate discs, which is awesome. And, of course, the in insert. I, don't know, I'm, I know I'm one of the ones that, are, that enjoys Part 2 as well. I love Part 1, and I don't and part two is fun as well. So I had to grab this version, which was super cheap on eBay. I think I paid like seven bucks for it. So if you have a uh, region two, I think it is. Yeah. So had to have it. Because the other DVD is way out of print. Come on. Do this one handed too. Sucks. Come on, fucker. All right. We'll do it this way then. Yeah, that's right. You get in there. All right, we have All Souls Day. Uh, it's another uh, weird zombie flick. It doesn't go by the zombie lore a little bit. Like, say, if you get bit by a zombie, you become one. It doesn't have that. Uh, it's pretty neat how the story goes by. Uh, yeah, I got Danny Trejo there, who plays the uh, the asshole in this movie. <laughs> it's a pretty cool flick. Uh, we have And Soon the Darkness. Got this on Monster Mania 
this year. I was very happy. Found out it's actually going to get a Blu-ray at some point soon. So definitely glad to have this for sure. Uh, the Army of Darkness Director's Cut. Now, another thing with old Anchor Base, they're always limited. Uh, some of them. Like 40000 right here. 40000 was uh, a big deal back then, back when DVDs were around. Now we have limited to like 5000 for like, like, you know, Vinegar Syndrome or Severin or all those. So, funny, like a 40,000 40, number DVD is insane. And of course, we have the bigger, thicker case of Army of Darkness. And this one was limited to 30,000. Yeah, kind of weird how they did that. So, yep, I know Army of Darkness twice. I don't care. Baby Blood. This movie is fucking weird. <laughs> and it's actually getting a Blu ray next month or November. So I'm very happy that this is getting a Blu-ray. This DVD is very hard to find. So, yeah. Definitely have, definitely grab that Blu-ray when it comes out. Uh, Bad Dreams. Uh, with Bad Dreams here. Got it on Blu-ray with uh, Visiting Hours. But this was... I owned this like a long time ago. And it's pretty cool. Uh, you know... It's, uh, Jennifer Rubin's in this one. And uh, she's the one that has to escape a... Uh, Kind of like a cult type deal. Of course, she's in a psych ward. People get picked off one at a time. Pretty fun flick. Oop. Uh, Behind the Mask. Fun, cool story. Leslie Vernon. Gotta get that Blu-ray. Chud. Yep, I had the Blu-ray of Chud too. This one has a story with me when I worked at Circuit City. <laughs> but yeah, I love Chud. Our Gentles, the card player. Which I think I heard a rumor this is getting a Blu-ray. So that'll be kind of neat. Uh, Cat and Nine Tales. I had this like a long time ago. And now I got the Arrow Edition. Uh, Cemetery Man. Great film. Uh, if you can still find this, this is still kind of hard to find. Out of print. Along with this movie, uh, Cheerleader Camp. It's a fun little slasher. Uh, I'm surprised. A company hasn't picked this movie up yet. It'd be kind of cool if they did. And for this row we have is The Church. Uh, yeah. I just gotta grab a Blu-ray of this. There's two different types of Blu-rays. You have the uh, normal blue and the cold red one. Throw that up there. Alright, next in the row we have uh, City of the Living Dead. Also known as Gates to Hell. Now, it confused me because if you see this DVD, you see this zombie here? If you have the Blue Underground Blu-ray of Hell of the Living Dead and Rats, they use the same fucking picture. <laughs> That's what confused me when I bought this movie. But again, glad to have this movie. Uh, Gates of the Living Dead. City of the Living Dead. Awesome. Fun's ass zombie flick. Uh, good old Creepshow 2. Special uh, Dibby Max edition. Looks like the old comic. Had to keep it. I didn't care. Just love the way it looks. We have uh, Curse of the Devil. This one is a Paul Nashley film. Spanish. Great little flick. Uh, next in the anchor base called Dark Room. This one I don't know much about. And uh, I thought it was like the Vinegar Syndrome Dark Room they put out. That's a completely different film. So I think this was a later film. I was not exactly sure. What, what, what year was this? Oh, sometimes I try to find the dates on these things. I want to say maybe 2006? 2006 there? It's like one of the later ink old anchor base before they switched over. Uh, good old Dawn of the Dead. Um, yeah, I can't say anything about this. Can't wait for the Blu-ray to hit. Now this one, the Day of the Dead, it's a backwards edition. It's fucking weird. So if you want to have the spine out, you got to have it backwards. So the reverse side is, of course, uh, bud there that folds out in this cool, like, weird uh, cardboard packaging. So I have to have it backwards to show the, the old Anchor Bay. Oh, well. Then we have the weird uh, Day of the Dead 2 Contagium. I think I said that right. Yeah, it's, it's not the greatest. Uh, Dead and Breakfast. Fun flick. Uh, it's got what's his daughter's name? Um, 
John Carradine's daughter in it. It's kind of like Evil Dead, like a redneck type thing. <laughs> it's pretty fun. We have uh, Demon Hunter. It was okay film. So, again, just keep it for the old Inker Bay style. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. It's getting a, finally a U.S. release. I know the, the Arrow UK is out, so I'll be grabbing the U.S. one when it hits. And for collector's purposes, I bought... Oh, no. That's a different one. Uh, the Entity. I know the Entity's got a Blu-ray from Screen Factory. I gotta pick that up. Some, like, weird spectral rape on, the, on this woman. Uh, here it is. Collector's purposes, I bought the Evil Dead. Just to get the old Anchor Bay. And, of course, Evil Dead 2. Another old Anchor Bay of Evil Dead 2. I think I have, like, different editions of those films. Uh, the Fallen Ones. Now, this one's a weird, like, a sci-fi killer mummy flick. It's weird because this Anchor Bay is very hard to see. It's like in this weird gold glossy look. So, that can be very distracting. Uh, Fear No Evil. This is like if Damien from The Omen is in high school. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. This is actually getting a Blu-ray this month, I think. Or it's soon. So... Definitely recommend grabbing the Blu-ray of this. Uh, we have the Guardian. Um, now, this kind of pissed me off because I found the old Inker Bay in a pawn shop. And I'm like, oh, I found this auto printer. And was like, oh, you found a great score. Yeah, I don't know what the hell, but got the insert. It's like a burn-on-demand DVD. I don't get it. So that surprised the hell out of me. Why would you burn a DVD of an old Inker Bay? Unless it was like one of the old, old school DVDs. I don't know. But, yeah. I'm keeping it for now. What the hell, why not? <clears throat> uh, Happy Hell Night. Blue, uh, Code Red put out this weird slash around Blu-ray. It's not for everybody, but it's actually not bad. Uh, another edition of Hell Night by itself. <clears throat> oh, I skipped one. Yeah, that's Inferno. But we have uh, Return to Horror High. Found this at FYE 2. Had to grab it's like a fun little horror comedy slasher. And of course, Dante's Inferno. Not Dante's. Wow. Well, Dario Agento's Art Inferno. Okay, then. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, I loved From Beyond. When I saw this one, it was kind of, for me, it felt like a step down. But still fun to watch. It's got some weird scenes for sure. All right. Let me get down on my knees for the next one. Uh, it waits. This is like a creature feature in the woods. Um, uh, surprised this doesn't have like a Blu ray. It's got like a weird cover art on some of them. Uh, Macabre. This one is also goes by the title Frozen Terror. So I saw this at like an antique shop for like a buck. It's like as soon as you see Old Inker Bay, you just grab it because <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find. Uh, Malevolence. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. It's got a weird, like, clear slip cover, which is really weird. I've never seen, like, only your base with clear slips. So, yeah. I got the trilogy on blue. It's kind of a weird trilogy. Uh, the big edition of Manhunter. I found this for $2.99 at Soundgarden. I'm like, fuck, I'll grab it for that just because it's $2.99. Yes. Limited to 100000 that's insane. Yeah. I bet you like half of those are not even in existence anymore. Uh, Man with a Screaming Brain. With Bruce Campbell again. That's another older sci-fi channel flick. Yeah, as you can see right there. Sci-fi. Back when it was originally called sci-fi. Fun Bruce Campbell. Plays cool flick. <laughs> uh, of course, Maximum Overdrive. Stephen King. I really enjoy this one. Um, I bought the Vesteron release as well. But I had a good time with it. I know a lot of people don't like it as much. I love uh, Maximum Overdrive. Uh, murder by Decree. I haven't watched this one yet. Looks like a, a murder type murder movie. <laughs> I don't know. If I may see it, let me know. Uh, good old uh, Near Dark. This is like the thick box edition of Near Dark. I actually found this again. Not this edition, but another old Inker Bay. I almost bought it, but it's like, you know what? You already have Near Dark. Stop it. Uh, Night of the Living Dorks. I bought this one um, 
Blockbuster was going out of business. There was actually stickers on, on the side as I drop it. So it doesn't have the insert. It just has the, the movie itself. But the sticker was covering up the old Anchor Bay. And for the longest time, I didn't know until I pulled the sticker here. I'm going, shit, this is an old Anchor Bay. All right, add, to the, add it to the shelf. <laughs> Weird shit. Uh, Nosferatu with Klaus Kinski. This was a pretty weird, cool flick for sure. I know this has a Blu-ray too. Just haven't gotten around to upgrading. And of course, I found the thick edition of Argento's Opera. Another one was limited to thirty thousand. Yeah, found it at a like a rental store, not a rental store, an antique store. So I've definitely picked that up. Uh, Parasite with Demi Moore. Uh, this is coming to a Blu-ray soon. Can't wait to upgrade that, but definitely keep this. Hey, look, it's Possession again. I told you, this is my second copy of Possession. I don't, I don't have that big, thick edition. I wish I did. Uh, the Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys. This is a, another weird sci-fi channel. Had nothing to do with uh, Full Moon. So Full Moon had nothing to do with this film. So unfortunately, it's in DVD uh, round. It doesn't have a Blu-ray at all. Wish it did so I could put up the rest of my Puppet Master movies. Uh, Race with the Devil. God, this is a classic film. I know it has like a weird uh, double feature blue, but I was like, I'll just keep it with the DVD. Okay, here's Rats, Night of Terror. Again, this is the one with the Hell of the Living Dead Blu-ray. But I found the old DVD, so of course I grabbed that one. Uh, Room 6. This is another one I haven't watched. I think this is a 2005? Yeah. Again, this is like where Anchor Bay is still around with the old one before they changed icons. So yeah, I haven't watched Room 6 yet. Someday I will. Uh, we have uh, Short Night of Glass Dolls from, of course, the Giallo collection, as it says right there. <laughs> so yeah, another great little Giallo flick. I think that has a Blu-ray as well. Slugs. Love Slugs. Um, this is a different uh, cover. When you find the regular DVD, it's got a different cover art than the old Anchor Bay. So when I saw this one, I had to snag it when I was back in the day of my DVD collecting. So yeah. I'll slide these over to make this easier. Good old Suspiria. Yes, yeah, it's the limited to 10,000. It's got all the different discs in there. As you can see, it has original Goblin soundtrack on here. It's got the books. Uh, it's this autographed by uh, one of the girls that were was in it. I forgot. Tiny lady. She's very nice. Uh, the Tooth Fairy. This is another one of those weird ones I just never got around to watching yet. This one is another one I don't know. It's got PJ Souls in it. The Saul Linker Bay, you know, bought it. Uh, Transylvania 6, 5000. It's another one of those horror comedies. Fun 80s comedy with a young uh, Chef Goldblum. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we have Trauma. i got to change this case out. Never saw it. I don't know anything much about that one. Uh, got the original Trilogy of Terror. Yes, got the Blu-ray, of course. Had a different. I had the old Dark Sky DVD for a while. I didn't even know this was an old Anchor Bay until I saw it at a video game store, so I snagged it. Uh, Unholy, another one, Adrian Barbeau, another one that uh, don't know much about this one at all. Again, just you see old Anchor Bay and you just grab it, so it looks pretty neat. Uh, Vice Squad, this just got a this one just got a Scream Factory release, so this is pretty neat. Bought this a long time ago when it was out of print, so. You'll probably see a lot more of these around. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, Voodoo Moon. Uh, don't know much about this one. Another weird one that I saw. I know Mood616 posted it. It had a slip cover to his. I didn't get one, but I didn't care. As I find it, I'm happy. Another Paul Nashley film, The Werewolf Shadow. This one I think you can find pretty cheap still. So if you want to find some more Paul Nashley. I recommend grabbing some of that stuff. Yeah. The old Wicker Man. Yes, I love the Wicker Man. This is the two-disc edition. Uh, you can find other editions of the old one out there.
spot, of course. I just love the way that looks. <laughs> and last but not least, the Melvin Cabrays is Witchboard. Yes. I think this has a Blu-ray. I don't know. i have to take a look. Fun flick. And then with this one, you know, it has all the inserts. This one actually looks like the planchette. And it comes with a... Stupid. A plant a Ouija board insert. You can punch that out for a planchette. I thought that's a pretty cool idea. So definitely had to keep that. All right, guys. That is it for my old Anchor Base. Yes. Let me know what you think down below. Your thoughts on this. Um, don't have any of my new update just yet. So who knows if I find them. Like I said, you find them in the wild, you buy them. Because oh, they're collectors. They're hard to find. And uh, they're kind of neat. All right, guys. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Thanks very much for watching. And you have yourself a good one. Peace.